my name's Neil Willis, I'm principal here at Longford Academy and I share that role with Anne Davis and Simon Beamish. Uh, Longford Academy derived from its predecessor school in 2008 and it moved to this new building in September 2011. And it's based around the small schools model. The idea of the small schools model is to create a, a greater personalisation of learning uh, and certainly our motto for the academy is achieving excellence together. We wanted to achieve excellence together and so looking at the teaching and learning aspect what is it that we could do to take it to another level and how do we engage students in doing that and of course technology was the most obvious, obvious thing. We have a number of fixed Apple machines around the, uh, around the academy um, within the open plazas and also uh, in small sixth form spaces where students can access those uh, higher spec machines uh, to do things for example in graphics, in, in music technology, in technology itself. Uh, the iPad scheme has arisen out of a need to enable each of our students to be, have any time, anywhere access. Yeah, the challenge was, was taking that vision and actually putting it into a sustainable model and something that can be delivered and meet expectations. There's lots of technical challenges and, and not only the fact that you know we were asking of large volumes of devices, we were going down a model and make that's something nobody had ever seen before. I couldn't talk to somebody 12 months ago and say, how did your rollout of a thousand iPads go? That, you know, nobody had had that experience. So we were truly sticking our head above the parapet. We were trailblazing. It had a lot of risks associated with it but sitting down with the academy, identifying all them risks and working through them pragmatically allowed us to keep on focus with the vision. Any of the technology that we use within the school, especially the mobile devices, has to be reliable. And the only way it can be reliable is if we have excellent Wi-Fi facilities. The Wi-Fi access um, being reliable for the students is vitally important. Um, without it, the students won't be able to download apps, they'll lose concentration quickly in the lesson. And it sends a spanner into the works. The scheme at Longfield really requires a very robust wireless network. Uh, if you can imagine sort of 50 to 60 children in the class all wanting to log on at one time, the teachers can't afford any lag in the logging on process. Um, Longfield, I know, have gone for a Maru network, and Maru happen to be uh, corporate partners of ours and support the charity. Um, so it's really wonderful that the two of them have got together. Several Wi-Fi technologies were considered and Maru seemed to offer everything we needed and I have to say that since we've been in the building we haven't had any Wi-Fi problems so it's been super. We had a lot of confidence in the Maru network to deliver for us because we've gone through a lot of due diligence and evaluation. It's safe to say that you know nothing was on the market could touch Maru but until we had what we called the next day dawn of the iPad when all them learners came in all excited and connected those devices to our network for the first time. That was the point when it really stood up and showed us what it could deliver. Within the trust we have other providers um, of uh, wireless systems that just couldn't achieve and couldn't provide us with what we needed here at Longfield. And it's for that reason that we selected Maru as, as the most appropriate supplier. From day one we've it's worked, you know, there's been, there hasn't been any problems with it. Maroon Networks are proud to be enabling one of Apple's largest deployments in the UK. With 1400 iPads across Longfield Academy, we're delighted to be enabling the creative and learning vision for teachers and students. Well, I mean, compared to the old building where we'd have to go to an ICT suite, book a room to use, um, the students can just literally whip their iPads out of their bags and they've got the internet wherever they go in the building. We can take them out into plazas and work with them in small groups. We can stay within the class and they can all use the internet at the same time. Because of the wireless network and the quick access to the internet, I was able to finish off my homework within a minute or two after break, just before lessons. No matter where I am here, I can access my work and always send work to teachers, keep up to date. Even when I'm not in school, I'm emailing them with the iPad, getting work from them, which is good. Well, I normally work in the Helix, which is a canteen, and I always have my iPad in there, and the internet's always really strong or really fast, and I use that practically all day, every day, so I find that really good and then the MacBooks are just everywhere. And although there's so many, they're never slow. Really, the iPads are the key to, to the lessons that I'm now teaching. I'll look for different apps that I can actually incorporate into my lessons. So things like mind maps, things like actually knowing that they can actually research within the lesson, not having to fight around trying to find computers, as well as using sort of whiteboards in the lessons on the iPads and a variety of other activities. So it's, you know, using those 
for the children. I really enjoy technology anyway myself and so I like to keep trying and seeing what I can do with it and push it to its extremes. Um, but uh, it's definitely exciting having something in the classroom that um, is robust, you know, you can get the students up there excited about using the iPads and so that kind of creates another whole level of engagement that you wouldn't have had before. Already the sort of levels of engagement in lessons seems to have gone up. They can obviously uh, do a lot of independent learning with them because they've got them on their iPads the whole time. Um, and it, it just seems to have worked to get them discussing with me about music but also discussing with each other as well. There's a lot more group communication. Teachers feel that they're able to do their jobs more effectively and more efficiently and they're also excited that they're actually part of the younger generation now. The younger generation teaching the teachers how to use the technology which is fabulous. It's really wonderful to have come back to Longfield and see the students using iPads everywhere uh, in the school, in the corridors and even outside uh, the, the school environment. It, it, it really, you know, is, is, they fully embrace the one-to-one -one vision.